all right index or your index page same thing let's say the title is welcome to our awesome website space give us your money that makes sense right well, give us your, you got to ask for it ask and you shall receive okay maybe you shouldn't say that let's take that off okay clients highlight the same you know heading our clients and then your about glory called about us and then your contact let's say is contact us okay so now you have all of your different pages so let's go ahead and save these now whenever you see a little asterisk again working in Dreamweaver Dreamweaver is so awesome if you see the little asterisk make sure you save it that means that file is not saved so if something goes wrong you're screwed and you have to start all over again so save as much as you can you know what I mean smart people save often okay so now you have all of your pages quote unquote made so let's come up here and preview everything so preview it preview and I explore and you'll not tell I can get this little message right click it allow blocked content so yes and now you have home welcome to our awesome website about about us services our services clients our clients and contact contact us okay so let's go back to Trainweaver and now you can go ahead on each page change your text around if the text is too far at the bottom go ahead and highlight it or highlight the box that it's in go on down here to vertical say top and it'll bring it back up to the top of the box if it's still too small select that actual box and just enlarge it or just use your enter and bring that text down okay same thing on your home page the easiest way probably is just to use your inner bar get it to come up um, about same thing contact same thing call me with your checking account information <laughs> okay you can't even see that okay I really need to stop doing that people are taking too people nowadays are taking advantage of people too often so it's really not funny I am joking though but contact us let's say it this way after we provide great service send us your money how's that that's better right uh, don't get nothing don't get something for nothing all you people that's on the internet trying to take advantage of folk hope your computer blows up like while you're sitting there you have like glass like in your eye and stuff okay that's not nice sorry lord okay so there you have it now let's say for example you wanted to change something let's say you don't like this image here or on your contact page this is content save it let's say this particular image here you don't necessarily want to use in previous tutorials I ran through very quickly how to adjust a logo template or a book cover template so let's say you wanted to change that so let's highlight it right mouse click it come on down here if you have Photoshop installed on your system it should come up here in one of your options and it's not one of mine doggone it all right let's find it real quick Adobe Photoshop Photoshop okay now it's an option and all right so now you have a new image and you want to change so let's say I've already selected another image that I might want to use for that and that image is in my web tutorial folder and the extra images let's uh, make these thumbnails let's say I want to use this one where are you and this is the new image you want to use for that image there so you can again from the Photoshop tutorial just click and drag it on over here 
let's resize it all right for the sake of moving very quickly through this tutorial it's control T for transform and you'll get this little box hold down your shift key and drag this little area down till you can get this image to fit within the size that you're trying to go for Let's say you wanted to get all just the sisters you want to see the women's forget the brothers you just want to see the women's yeah but they're blurry okay let's show one brother we got the brother in the back though all right let's show the brothers but we want to focus on the women's but the brothers just happen to be in the picture because they wouldn't go to lunch okay so now you have the image because the web is so download um, important we want to go to file save for web this new dialog box will come up and it'll give you different options on the actual size that you want to save it at. So I normally save my web images at about 60, 70. Normally it's a very good re resolution and um, output at about that. And it'll bring the size down. So go ahead and save it. Now, one thing you're going to have to keep in mind is where to save images for your website. So we're going to go back to the actual same folder where the actual website is and see it's in the website folder and always in the website template that you download from us you'll have a folder called images in that folder you want to save this new image that you've made so let's say this is contact I still can't spell oh my goodness contact I'm a designer guys back up off me okay contact uh, picture save okay so now you've saved it and it's the exact same size of this previous image you're sure of that so now let's go ahead back to Dreamweaver we're on our contact page highlight the image again and down here in your source it tells you exactly where this source is or what it's called so let's go ahead and select that folder there right next to it we're gonna browse and find the new image that we want to use you have here all of the images in your image folder so let's go ahead and select your contact picture and you'll see the little preview here say OK and now you have a new image for your contact page new image for your contact page this is Eric from alreadytemplates.com sponsored by studioeverything.com thank you very much hope you enjoyed it alright guys appreciate it so